Hey Coconuters, it's Coconut Harrison here and today I'm going to be taking a look at a freaky video titled 10 Near Death Experiences Caught on Camera Now we all know what a near death experience is It's basically where you nearly die Can't really explain it more obvious than how it's put Now these are stuff recorded and I'm guessing off like GoPros, mobile phone cameras all that good stuff that's got a camera So Now luckily a near death experience means that these people did not die So oh my god uh, <coughs> Coming out of cold, guys. So that does mean that all these people are alive, so thumbs up, yay. Even though I know some of you would like to have seen something more dramatic. Remember, a like on this video is super appreciated. Let's see if we go for 500 likes. I asked for 500 likes in my last video, and it got it. So thank you so much. You're truly amazing. The original video is going to be in a link in the description box below. But without further ado, let's just get right into it. It looks like he's in, cameras built oh, yeah, into he's, most he's in space. Almost everything important or a, a space type simulator. Whether it be a car accident or a world <sighs> record actually scared me. gone wrong, there have been many near-death experiences. This is going to be good. On tape. I can see it. A series of cars crash into each other. <sighs> the force of this throws one of the cars towards spectators. It actually hit the camera, but just missed the people watching. Was there anybody behind the camera though? That was close. That actually scared me at a first. A man is riding a snowmobile over a mountain. Suddenly, the snow beneath him falls down the cliffside. And he realizes how close he was that to the edge. That was close. Oh my god. Can you imagine? I'd be shitting myself right now. I'd leave you there. Nice, right, take it, take it, Snow. Look at that, look, look at it, it just comes across and it just tumbles down. Just, an, if that Snow hold it up for an extra second, he would have gone with it, because he would have gone forward a bit more. So this guy slips while hopping onto another rooftop. How high is he though, that's a real question. And it's a very high rooftop. Yeah, he would have died. He full on would have died. It was a terrible jump, I'm not gonna lie. Don't go and do stuff like that. Just climbing up high buildings isn't I, nice Every time I watch these type of videos, so he attempts a backflip and comes quite close It knocks to me sick. It generally does. I don't watch him. I don't like watching him. Actually, I don't watch him. You're asking to die. It's like you just want to. Like, oh, maybe if I die today, that'd be nice. This man's gun seems to jam, and he makes the age-old mistake of looking into the barrel. The gunshot goes off, just missing his head and hitting his hat. Oh my god, you idiot! Oh my god, why would you look down the barrel of a gun that's loaded? <sighs> my god, that could have been real you bad. You may not be able to see it. Clearly, but this video captures the moment surfer Mick Fanning was attacked by a shark. Oh shit. Was he bit? After being pulled out of the water, he shows that the shark bit through the cord attached to his leg. So he was less than one meter away from being bitten. That's one of my worst fears. In fact, anything under the water. So here you have people using kayaks peacefully, but then... What the? Did that whale just land? How are they alive? Are they even alive? This is footage from the Japanese tsunami. The water floods through settlements and onto a main road. Holy shit, is that house? Cars moving in its direction don't have much time to stop and turn around. Oh my god. Oh, that close. <sighs> this man shows good reaction time. Oh my god. Looks like he gets his leg, he's got a bit of a limp on there. 
so he runs over to help anyone injured. In this video, Spencer Seabrook breaks the world record for the longest slackline. Is he got nothing on him as well? But he almost oh my failed God. when he only narrowly avoided falling to his death. <sighs> wow. Oh my God. That last one though was just too much. Did you actually see that? Well, that was the end of them. I'd definitely say the last one was the worst. I mean, no ropes at all. Let me know what your one was. I'd really like to know. Remember, Coconuts, if you like this video, give it that thumbs up. Make sure to go, make sure to share with your friends. And don't forget to please subscribe and become a coconutter with me today. Mary everyone, I love you all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have an amazing day. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.